There's a bathtub in the living room. That's pretty deep. Very scale, sizable. Scale. You can fit several people in there. That's good. We're taking a bathroom break. Take a leak. Here we go. we like, go, go, go. We gotta go. You have time to stop. You stop. We're getting free pizza out of this here. This is working out. This is working out. There's a lot of people that have been stopping us asking, like, what are you doing? I'm like, why do you have cameras? We're like, that's oh, a wedding. They're like, oh, okay. It's great. Welcome to beautiful, slightly dry, hot Reno, Nevada. Well, the outskirts of Reno, Nevada. We are heading out up into the mountains to the north side of Lake Tahoe to do some scouting because we're going to be filming a wedding this week and it's going to be amazing. Only 9 a.m. right now and the sun is already up pretty high because it's the summer and it's already very, very bright. So we're planning on filming this couple in the morning, and I'm realizing now we're gonna have to get up pretty darn early. 5 a.m., 6 a.m., something like that, so I can get them in some of that golden hour morning light and not super harsh bright light. Thankfully, we still have a lot of nice tree shadows here. I should be able to work with it, but ideally we're gonna wanna be on the side of the mountain that is in the shade. This couple, Monica and David, are a lot of fun. Typically, weddings tend to go in one of either two directions. Either you go more like sexy romantic or fun and exciting and goofy and ridiculous. They're definitely more on the fun, goofy, exciting, ridiculous side. So we're thinking about the wedding film and the way we shoot it and the way we're gonna edit it. We're really trying to bring that out. And so as we're filming the wedding, we're looking for really funny moments and we're going to be trying to help facilitate and create those funny moments as well. As we've been talking to them, they're telling us things like, oh, we're going to have a mechanical bull at the wedding. And so because the wedding day and the wedding reception are going to be just so incredibly fun and crazy, I'm hoping that whenever we take them out into the mountains to film them, we can provide sort of a contrast to that. And so I do want to go a bit more romantic with the mountain footage. I want to go a bit more intimate with that and kind of show a softer side to them because then we can juxtapose this softer side with the really high energy craziness and that's going to make for a really, really cool edit. If you go high energy the entire time in your edit, then it kind of gets boring after a while because it's just constantly hitting you in the face. But if you can go kind of up and down and you've got crazy high energy and then slower, more romantic parts, can be really really cool after learning everything they had planned for the wedding day we didn't think that going more crazy during the portrait session would be great for the film it's party 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 it's basically a three-day wedding so we're excited but we're like oh we're gonna be really 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 tired i'm just looking where we're going i gotta figure out where we are how close are we to the lake where are we Nice little morning drone flight. Not too crowded out here yet. Can see the lake, see the side of the mountains. Should be good. Real, real pretty out there. A little bit of sunrise. One last little shot here through the trees. See how this looks. Just don't hit anything. Just don't hit anything. There you go. Beautiful sunny light tone. We're not really gonna be filming the couple here, but we figured we'd drive by and figured the people would probably be upset with us if we didn't at least go to Lake Tahoe and look at it. Time to continue onward up into the mountains toward Greagle, Greagle, Gray Eagle, Greagle. How do we pronounce that? One of the big things that we're planning with the couple in a few days is they're going whitewater rafting. And where they're gonna be putting in for the whitewater rafting is right up here in Tahoe City. So one thing that we really wanted to do while we had time to scout was figure out exactly where they're gonna be getting in the water. And then we went to find some places alongside the river 
where we can film them. We will not be whitewater rafting. Our behind the scenes shooter Noah will be whitewater rafting. We're putting him in there with a GoPro. He's gonna have a great time. Okay, so we have river here, nice straight shot where we can see people coming in, see some faces as they're coming by, and they'll come right along here, hopefully really close by. I really, really like this spot. I think it'll work really well. If I can find at least one other spot like this, maybe two, I think we're good for whitewater rafting. Okay, just found a really nice location, good rapids. I think it should work really, really well. My only concern is how fast the river's moving here. If we can get from the first location we saw to this location, but I think it'll work. What's nice here is that the river starts moving faster, got a little bit of rapids, so that'll be a little more engaging than just a slow float. Can still film them, get a little bit more extreme. And then the rapids spit out here into a really nice slow part where we can hopefully get a few more shots of them. I really, really like how this looks though. I think it'll work really, really well. We're now heading north up through the Tahoe National Forest and this is really where we're going to be looking for spots to take the couple the day before their wedding. Overall it's all going to be mountains and forest but three different types I guess you could say. First shot that I want to get would be the couple out in some trees somewhere, heavy shade, broken up sunlight, so we can really pull off anywhere to get that. Otherwise I also want to get some shots of the couple up on a mountain of some sort. So something with a scenic view off in the distance. So we're going to go way up into the mountains, see if I can find a location to take the couple to in the morning. Last thing I want is a body of water of some sort. Some sort of water feature. That always helps. It's bumpy. We're cruising up the mountain here. Oh, gravel dirt road. We're cruising up here to this fire lookout station. Dang, this is what I wanted. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, exactly what I was looking for. Like this, fantastic, beautiful wildflowers. And there's a really nice rocky outcropping here that we can probably get the couple to sit up on. Get them cuddle up here with all that behind them. Shut the front door, that's amazing. One thing that I really like is that there are multiple trails here at different height levels. So I can have the couple down here on this lower trail while I can be up on the higher trail and this is all gonna be behind them. Another thing that I'm doing here is I'm checking my phone and I have this app called Sun Seeker and it'll tell you where the sun's gonna be at a specific time. And so for this, it's telling me that on the edge of this cliff here, the sun is gonna rise right over here and come up. So yeah couple backlit by the sun or a couple we put them over here and then the sun's coming in from the side very very cool but that also tells me that the mountains aren't really gonna be blocking the view so I want to get up here pretty early maybe it's seven I know it's early but I think that would really help with the light and visibility I'm gonna film a few little tree shots something basic nothing too crazy some nice ambient shots because there's no guarantee we're gonna have time to get those whenever we're with the couple and right now we have a lot of time so I'm gonna run and grab these it's like middle of the day not usually the ideal time to do stuff like this but it's the forest it's dark and shadowy what time is it who knows could be morning could be night Got some amazing forest shots, really basic, nothing too crazy. Some subtle trees, subtle pine needles, beautiful neon green moss. Cannot wait to put the couple in there too, but now at least I got the establishing shots done. Now we are heading down the mountain, slowly, carefully, down to look for a body of water to film the couple in. I think there's Golden Lake, we may try to hit that, and there's a ton of other little bodies of water. We're just gonna look for something, see what we find made it to Gold Lake, and this is pretty, but it's also very crowded. It's also a Saturday right now, so there's a billion people here. I think we're gonna have to either go around the lake or we're gonna have to go further up. Very pretty over here. Nobody's out here too. I think this might be the winner. This could be it here. Nice trees, nice water. I found a spot that I like even more over here because you have a bit of water, and then you have this little spit of land to provide a little bit of depth, a little tree, then you have the lake. So I love the depth that we're getting from this, 
And I think if I can put the couple right here, have this as the background, this could work even better. Maybe we'll do both. Have them cuddle up over on another rock, then do this too. Combo, love it. I am very happy that we have our locations scouted. I'm feeling super good about our adventure day with a couple where we wander around in the mountains. We found a lot of locations that are all within 10 to 15 minute drive of each other, which is just amazing. I think that if we get up early, start at like six or 7 a.m., drive out here, start filming some stuff, we're gonna see some really, really beautiful stuff, get some really, really great shots, and yeah, it's gonna be amazing. It's always nice if you're doing a destination wedding like this and you know you wanna incorporate the landscape to get up early so you can find locations that you love and you're not just stuck on the wedding day like I guess we'll just drive over here to this lake and try to find something like if we decide to scout on the same day that we were doing the adventure shoot with a couple it would not have worked nearly as smoothly and everybody would have been exhausted so instead we've hit a few spots we know exactly where we want to go and this couple portrait shoot is gonna be epic good morning and welcome to the day where we actually go to the wedding venue. We finally made it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Gotta set up, actually meet the couple in person. And I don't know what's really doing today. I think everybody's just hanging out today. Yeah. So really low key, maybe film some establishing shots, especially as the sun goes down a little bit, we'll see. Welcome to the Chalet View Lodge. We're gonna go inside and try to find the couple. Around here somewhere. We're going. Well, it's a big moment. We gotta meet our friends. Hello. You're in the flood. It's happening. You're not on YouTube. You're here on the, the internet. Mine and Rachel and, and their BTS shooter. <laughs> it's the internet in real life. This is it. We made it. Man, we made I'm so it. nervous. It's okay. You can be You're nervous. Celebrities. Hello. Yes. Hello. Hello. You're much shorter than I thought you would be. Yes, I'm very so short. Exciting. This I is know, great. I know. All right, met the couple. Very, very friendly. Super excited. Now we're going over to the groom's villa. Check this out. Nice venue. Very nice venue. A plus. We're about to meet the wedding planner, Paulette. Gotta say hi to her. Very important to meet her. Alrighty, planners have been met. She's super nice. Time to actually check into this lodge, get a room with air conditioning because that bright California sun's beating down. Beating down right now. And we're gonna start uploading all the camera gear. So much camera gear. A nice little evening light here. Everybody's kind of chilling over by the pool. Nothing crazy's happening. And I was like, this light? This drone needs to be flown, my goodness. Just a second ago, the tops of the trees are still getting lit up a little bit by the sun. Nice little flat spot here. Let's try that. A little breezy out here today. Very nice. Let's uh, let's go for a flight, huh? Let's see what happens. Take off. There we go. Get on up there, buddy. Oh, that's pretty. That is so pretty. Dude, these trees, oh my gosh. I'm in the uh, tight mode. I wanna go to the full FOV mode. Wowie, that is gorgeous. So, are they already over there talking? It's a drone. I see it. Somebody's flying a drone. That's illegal. It's not illegal. It's perfectly safe out here, perfectly legal. Which way do I wanna go? I'm not thinking anything crazy for these shots here. I just want to get some basic establishing shots here. Let's get some trees. Let's get some uh, landscape shots, stuff like that. Nothing really crazy here. So we're just going to cruise over here a bit. This is some really nice forest. Love it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Then we're going to turn around. We're going to fly back the other way. The, uh, with the sun setting, it's a little, a little bright. So we're gonna tone that down a bit. There we go. I'm just cruising in here on the venue. A 
Nothing crazy, really basic. Landing, landing. All right, really nice little establishing shots. Nothing too crazy, very basic. Bit of the trees, get a bit of the sunset, get a bit of the venue. Feeling really good about it. I mean, it's a gorgeous venue, gorgeous trees, gorgeous sunset. It's California, it's kind of cheating, you know? Good morning, again. So many mornings here, my goodness. Uh, today is the first official day that I would consider of the wedding extravaganza. So, there's a bus over here behind me. Everybody's about to get on it. And we are riding down to where we'll be rafting the Truckee River. I say we, I'm not doing it. I'm gonna be filming from the side, but Noah, who's filming, will be riding. And we got a little GoPro for him, so. This is going to be a lot of fun. He can film some cinematic shots from the raft. Rachel and I will be off the, on the side. I may try to fly the drone. We'll see. But for now, we got a hour and 15 minute long drive down to the rafting location. All right, we have now dropped off Noah. He is getting on the raft right now and they're about to be floating downstream. I think it's gonna take them a little while. We're a little ways ahead of them. Just stopped here on the side of the road. Gonna get some gear together, run down there, see what we can see and yeah, film some stuff. All right, we found the couple and they're right over here and they stopped for a break. So we're just kind of waiting for them to get back in the raft so we can film them. Not a bad place to wait though. Weather's real nice. Not bad.
So it's now evening time and we brought along this projector that I bought on Amazon for $59. And we were gonna do some creative stuff with it. Gonna try some, some new things. So in this case, we're going to set up the projector in the room where the bride is staying and we're going to project onto the wall and then have the couple stand in front of it. It's going to be projecting onto them. And Rachel edited together some clips of them from earlier in their dating relationship. So David proposing, them on dates, Monica dancing, things like that. Plug it in, see how it works, see how it looks. Do a little, you know, creative abstract stuff. Should be really, really cool though. Okay. So we've got the projector set up over here. Moved some couches. It's looking good. We just need to get the video playing. Got to put the couple in front of it. See how it looks. Okay, so you guys, we'll start off basic here. I want both of you standing like here, holding hands kind of wide. Facing you? N uh, yes, facing, facing out here. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. And then hand together with it, like some set, a little bit of distance between you two. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's what we want. Uh, so just look straight ahead for initially. It's going to be just kind of like this weird sort of surreal. Oh, no, I'm going to get in the shot here. <laughs> Trying to not get in the shot. <laughs> it's the proposal. <laughs> it's so funny because the autofocus keeps detecting your David's giant head behind. <laughs> it's like, what? It is kind of nice to slow down after the insanity of today. Yes. Oh, for sure. Uh, wow, that looks really, really cool. Um, super excited having to do some little basic stuff here when I'm standing, when I'm dancing, doing some of the things they were already doing in the videos that we had. And so we don't even know where we're going to use this in the video yet. It'll be something interstitial, just some sort of high energy moment or a low energy moment, just something where we want to have something that feels completely different than the mountains and the wedding and the vibe we already have. So I really like it. I'm super excited. I think it's gonna be really, really awesome. So, uh, yeah, a lot of time to go to bed. Gotta wake up at five to start driving at 5.30 to get out right at sunset to the mountaintop, film the couple. Gonna be amazing. Time to go to bed though. Speaking of things being amazing, we need to talk about the amazing sponsor of this video, Musicbed. If you film weddings like me, which I assume that you do, considering this is a video about filming weddings, I'm sure you need to license music for your films. And one of my favorite places to license music is Musicbed. I've been using Musicbed basically since I started filming weddings, and in my opinion, they have some of the best music from real bands with real emotion. If you want examples, I'm excited to tell you that you've already heard some, because Every single song that I've used in this behind the scenes video is licensed from Musicbed. With over a thousand artists and composers offering over 40,000 record label quality tracks that cover a huge range of style and genres, you're guaranteed to find something that matches the vibe you want in your film. Acoustic pop folk musicians like Brooke Annabelle. <laughs> Smooth, modern soul pop from Bimpe. And that's just a few. There's so much good music that isn't hard to find because Musicbed's search tool has so many advanced features and they update their curated playlist all the time. So it's really easy to find new songs that not everyone has used yet. Musicbed's Wedding Filmmaker subscription will let you download unlimited music from hundreds of musicians for your films. And they created a system called Sync ID, which automatically removes YouTube copyright claims for any music that you license through them using your subscription. You and your couples won't have to deal with music copyright issues on YouTube, and that's amazing. 
Sound cool? Okay, use the link down in the description below to sign up and use the coupon code WHOISMAT23 and you will get your first month of an annual wedding subscription for free. That's 12 months for the price of 11 to license unlimited music. So thank you very much to Musicbed for sponsoring this video. Also, I want to give a big thank you to my friends at Archaeus Creative for helping me edit this behind the scenes. If they were not here to help me, you would probably never see this video because these behind the scenes videos take so long to edit. But that's why I have my friends at Archaeus Creative. If you need help editing your wedding films, corporate videos, YouTube videos, literally anything, they would love to help you out as well. And if you use my link down in the description, our kscreative.com slash who is Matt and tell them that I sent you they will give you 10% off your first edit so if you're struggling with your backlog or if you have part of the editing process that you really hate like color grading or sound mixing regardless no matter how big or how small your project is our Creative would love to help you out thanks so much for watching and have a great day